What's up guys, Riley here, and today we're going to be working on my FMS FCX24. Alright, so for today, um, like I said, we're going to be working on my FMS, and when I bought this, the servo horn, about two weeks in, rounded out. So... That seems to be a problem that they've been having. Um, it's a 40 tooth <clears throat> spline, whatever uh, gear for the servo, and that's not a very good option. Uh, as you can see, all the servo horns are rounding out. But a video came to me just yesterday by Too Fast Matt RC. So definitely check him out. Props to him. He found it on Facebook. Um, and what we'll be doing, <clears throat> so we're going to be taking this, my dead Emacs servo. As you see, this is from my C10. Mine had died, and I had to get another one. Um, we're going to be taking that. We're not going to be swapping it on, but we're going to be taking that front gear out. And we're going to be swapping it into this servo. Um... It should be a pretty straightforward fix, and I really can't wait to get this back on the dirt. So, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take the body off and get the <clears throat> servo out of this truck. So, before, while I'm working on it, as you see, there is a white servo horn on it. That is a servo horn for a Reefs uh, 99, because my brother got a Reefs 99 for his truck. And I took one of these servo horns and I melted it and pressed it on um, and squished it so that it would fit around the gear, but it just stripped again. I wasn't able to get a video on it. We're going to take this servo off. And get it fixed. There we go. All right, so we've got the servo horn out. Another thing that Too Fast Matt showed us is he broke the ear off of his servo. So he broke one of these off, the little tab, um, and if you take your dead servo, you take the top off, there's a few tabs in there that you do have to cut out, but it will fit onto this servo eventually. Um, <clears throat> so if you have broken it, you won't have to buy a whole new servo. Now, I've got a little Phillips head. I'm going to take these screws off and get both of these servos apart. Now, you do have to be careful not to knock anything out of place on the inside. I don't know what the inside of these look like, but we're going to see. So... We got them all undone, and if you take the top off, we've got the top gear right there. So just from all of the um, <clears throat> wear down from the servo horns, this thing has got a ton of plastic shavings in it. <clears throat> so it should probably be cleaned up, but I think it'll be fine for now. So get the Emacs servo part. There we go. Take the top off. Got a few gears sticking in there. There we go. <clears throat> so when you take this off, there will be a little axle so far that I've seen on it. 
so there's a little bit a little axle on that main gear so when you pull that gear out be careful not to knock all of your gears out so I'm gonna slip this in see if I can get it aligned and there we go just like that the gears in uh, it's a 15 tooth so any 15 tooth aluminum servo horn <clears throat> you can put on this um, so you won't have to worry about that <clears throat> especially if you already have one I'm gonna go ahead and get this back together and make sure it works properly so we've got it all together as you can see screws are in the gears in and it fits quite nicely I'm gonna plug it in and we'll make sure everything's working so we got it plugged in I don't know how much battery life I've got left in my controller and just like that everything's gone <clears throat> so I can hear it jittering so I've had that problem as you see we can get it up close you can you might be able to see it but you can definitely hear it it's working so that's good and if you can hear it and see it I'm not touching the remote as you can see my hands on the truck and it's jittering I don't know what that's for it was doing it before um, so I have no clue why it does that but I'm gonna get this put back together and see if we can get some run footage I don't know how much battery life I've got left in this I know this is full um, it's been charged but this has been dying and it's got the little double-a batteries if I'm correct um, and I don't have any of those <clears throat> so I'm gonna get this Emacs cleaned up <clears throat> and we'll try and take it for a spin alrighty so I got it back together <clears throat> now one thing I need to tell you is when you put the servo horn on it to put the uh, links to screw the links in you're gonna have to drill out the hole a little bit more and then you're gonna have to put a little bit of pressure on the screw and the servo horn um, to get it on just because it's a bigger screw than what's on the SCX 24s now as you can see it's working um, now one problem I have is I'm not touching it and the wheels are jittery I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, it could be because I took this to the beach um, and I was gonna get some videos on it when I went on vacation and I may have gotten sand or some water in it <clears throat> that may have messed it up um, so yeah <laughs> I might have to replace that I don't know um, but from it sitting so long the, actual, the shocks in the rear, they just don't want to function. So we're going to have to work those in. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, for plans, plans for this truck, I'm going to try and do a trail truck style build. I'm going to get some bigger tires for it, some rims. I'm going to get the high speed motor that Fair RC has. I think FMS makes it. But that for whatever reason I can't find it on their website. But wheels, tires, um, definitely some front links because these are the weakest front links I've ever seen. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, and I may get some aluminum four links because the the wishbone, whatever you want to call it, the Y link up right there is super weak too. Um, but yeah, that's about it. We're gonna. I'm going to get this cleaned up, and we're going to take this out and do a little bit of driving as much as possible, um, hopefully, because I think the controller is getting ready to die. So here we go. So I've got it out here on the mini course. I'm going to cut the sound off for this video because all the trucks are running. We're getting ready to leave, but I'm going to try and get some uh, footage of it. So here we go.
All right, so <clears throat> my controller batteries died already, sadly. I'm going to get some more batteries later on, and we'll do a little bit of run footage. I think I might actually put my Enjora comp pins on this, uh, just to see how they do. But yeah, there you go. Um, that's about it. It works really good, <clears throat> and it's definitely nice having this fixed again. There is a poll up right now um, on my community post. You can go check it out. And it's against this and the Traxxas Slash. What would you like to see more on? So definitely go check it out. Um, I'm going to look at the voting the 9th, so the end of this week. <clears throat> and whichever one wins, wins. The Slash, I'm going to have to get a new body for. It's old and it's... So far, taking the beating since I've gotten it fixed. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Hit the notification bell, like, and subscribe so you can see more updates on this truck. Um, motor, tires, wheels, links, all of that. Um, hopefully, I can get it done soon. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all guys later.